I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25 yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. From their own 25 yard line, it's second down. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. And he's going to come up with a sack. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Oh, excellent punt. He's at midfield. He makes it to the 48-yard line. The Trojans having a wide receiver like this, I think sometimes it even helps a young quarterback because this kid goes out there, he works hard in practice every day, and I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think he's almost like having an extension from the coaching staff into the locker room with the players. He's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers, make sure that they're all on the same page, understand the route adjustments, understand everything that goes on with being a wide receiver and the importance of blocking. So all the little things that seem to add up and make big plays, uh, I think this guy totally understands his responsibilities being a go-to player. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From the 14-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling, looking for the corner. And he's tackled at the five-yard line. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. He's tackled at the four. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. And he's taken down at the four-yard line. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 48-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 7-0. 
Lewis ready to kick. Tyree from the two. He's tackled at the 25. USC's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Caught with room to work. They get four yards on that pass play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. That it keeps it the yards to go a little bit more manageable. It's third and seven. Ball on their own 28. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Number 21 makes the tackle at the 40 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 47. That's good for a game. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Sends it out quick, intercepted. Brought down around the 34 yard line. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. First and 10, ball in the 34. USC up seven points. Just throws this one away. Looks for his running back incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Steps out of bounds around the 27-yard line. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. USC can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Trojans are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Williams on the run. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Man can't 
tack on in the yardage. That'll bring it in to the first quarter of action. 10-0, USC. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. There's the strike complete, and down he goes around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. He's under pressure. Tackle right around the 34. Caught out in the open. Tackle made at the 28 yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. From the 19-yard line, first down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Make the stop at about the 17-yard line. The draw play gets maybe two yards. And here's another third down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. This is the ninth play of this drive. Touchdown, Southern Cal. I think the option down by the goal line is a great call. It puts so much pressure on the defense and allows the quarterback to have the decision to run it or pitch it. And this time it worked to perfection. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25-yard line. 
Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. taken down right around the 22-yard line. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Davis picks up about five yards on that hookup. That brings him second and five. Let's go, let's go. Go, go. They go back to him on a quick throw. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. They're about four yards away here on third down. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 41-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Got a man. Watch out here. He gets hit out of bounds at the 23. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. He's under some heat. And he hits him hard at the 31-yard line. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Quick throw. It's the ninth play of the drive. He delivers. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. Touchdown, Irish. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a 7-on-7 drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback. In this the score now, 17-7. The Trojans' offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game, even though he's not having great stats. He's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his stock, I think. But this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention. Really as a decoy, open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. And he 
it just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Notre Dame will take their last time out. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. And he has it on the corner. And he's taken down at the 30. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out in the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He steps out around the 45-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He sails it long. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. We've still got a half of football remaining. USC's got a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This team's now got a hill to climb in the second half. We anticipated it being a tight game, but as you watch this team late in the half, you started to see guys looking for answers. You could almost sense it. They were looking at who's going to take ownership, who's going to lead and make a play. Somebody has to step up right now, Dave. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you come into games, you, you feel like you have this huge game plan and all this stuff you want to accomplish, and sometimes it doesn't work. And sometimes you got to start changing things around, and sometimes it's simple. Sometimes the quarterback needs to come in the huddle and say, hey, guys, you want to protect me a little better? You know, you... They need to say some things that, that makes people feel uncomfortable sometimes to get a rise out of and knowing your team. Sometimes middle linebackers have to get the defense all in tight and say, listen, you need to make sure you're taking care of this. They've been killing us on this route. It's your fault. Step up. The leaders in the huddle a lot of times can say the things that the coaches can't and get a different reaction. Well, maybe it's time I say something to you, too. It's time for you to pick up your game at halftime. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Where the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Here they come. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. So the sack makes this third and very long. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Come on out here, come get some. Come get some. <laughs> Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Nice play, baby. Game in 
brings us fourth and 15. He really got a hold of that one. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a D on board. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. That'll make it third and one. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Going deep, lays it out there. Can't hold it in. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. And a quick throw. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. Complete. It's knocked down by the defense. The quarterback there got lucky that the ball wasn't picked off. Sometimes those passes are deflected at the line. They float end over end right into the hands of a linebacker. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 34. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. And the defense picks it up. And he will score. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he adds the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 26. Notre Dame's been having a really tough time here in the third quarter. Well, it's kind of a bump in the road here for them. It's important for them to just get back to the basics and doing what they were doing in the first half. Remember, you still have the lead. Kind of dust yourself off and get ready to win this football game. It was a rough road on their last drive as the fumble led to a touchdown. Brad, I know they turned the ball over the last time that they were out here, but it's important for these guys to remember they still have the lead here. Even though the momentum right now might be facing against them, they've got to be able to just settle down and find some confidence in being able to reestablish who they are. It's second and ten. Ball on the 26. USC has a three-point lead. Down he goes at about the 45. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. First 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. He scrambles. Tackle at about the 47-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll, That'll make it second and seven. seven. Roger, Roger. Check my 40. Check my 40. Hey, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Let's go. One in. He goes out of bounds at the 49. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Mike 40, Mike 40. He lets it go. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. USC is up by three. And they make the stop at the one-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And the halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. He makes the PAT. Lewis gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. USC's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He gets to about the 34-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Tipped away. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Taken down at the 32-yard line. You know, the offensive play calling wasn't clicking on that last drive, and their execution was lacking. Oh, excellent punt. Makes it to the 38 yard line. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. 
from their own 49-yard line. First down. That's three down and one to go. The Trojans with a 10-point lead. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Three down, three down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Ready. <laughs> nice catch on that one. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And they hit him in the backfield. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. That'll bring up third and four. him hard at the 40. The offense gets a first down here. you got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback, especially when they're passing the football. And try to get your own offense to ball back. And that time, they let their own offense down. Here comes the pressure. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And that one's incomplete. Third down again. That brings us third and ten. Complete across the middle. And he's tackled right around the 22-yard line. From the 22-yard line, first down. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at about the 15 yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Very good tackle in space. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. The six yard line. That brings up second and goal. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the six. Just over two minutes in the game. Here we go. there on the old quarterback keeper. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. And his 
hands on it and dropped it. London was the intended receiver on the ground. That brings us fourth and goal. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. USC's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points on. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. He lets it fly. Catches it. Down the sideline. And he scores! Touchdown! And he converts the extra point. to 44. A score here might effectively end this one. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. The defense might have just run out of chances with that first down right there. This offensive line definitely left it all on the field today. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 15. I think the defense put everything into that sequence of plays. And for the offense to come up with a first down really is demoralizing for the defense. Carr takes it up the middle. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. From the 10-yard line, it's second down. Sets them up with a first and goal. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 27-21, USC. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? USC came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.